Hey guys, it's Blockchain Brad, and today we are going to be talking NEO, one of my absolute favorite topics. So, I firstly want to say a massive thank you to every single one of you who have contributed either by liking or sharing or make, making a comment below because I really do try to look at everything and take your comments very seriously um, because at the end of the day guys we are just all a community. I also want to let you know that I will never be doing any sponsored videos. I don't believe in it. I, don't, I think it would water down the quality of what I represent and that is research. Um, I try to also represent the kind of things that I would be investing in myself, um, even though I'm not providing financial advice. So it's really important to me, guys, that I maintain that level of integrity for my channel. So guys, if I've had a few people question whether or not I do get sponsorships, and I don't, and I don't ever intend on receiving that. The only thing I do is monetize so I can put that money back into prizes. Speaking of prizes, guys, I will be putting in uh, through based on different feedback and comments that you guys have provided. I'm going to use those comments to um, collate a, um, a list and use a website to try and organize uh, some prizes for um, you know perhaps one, two or three. They'll obviously be in NEO or some kind of currency, but I'll let you know once you know we organize uh, a prize coming up in the next few videos. Guys, so today I want to get straight into it. We're going to be talking about NEO. We're going to go through a whole heap of websites. As you'd know, there's a lot happening in the market, particularly with Bitcoin at the moment, but I want to refocus our attention back on NEO so that we don't lose um, an understanding of what's actually happening um, around the world with NEO. So the first thing, obviously, is looking at the price. Price is down. That is awesome. Um, obviously, not for the long term, for the short term, that just means buying in positions. Um, Obviously not financial advice, but for me personally, and I can only speak from my experience, uh, anything, when I see prices drop like this, anything below uh, the 25s is particularly interesting because you know it rarely sits, it goes that low. Um, but obviously the main point is that there's reasons for the drop and particularly at the moment with Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash rising, that is essentially the fuel for these altcoins later. And many people don't quite understand, I think, the differences between NEO's design as an ecosystem and um, the cryptocurrencies um, of generation one, which are specifically designed to fuel uh, key ecosystems like Ethereum, like NEO, and other ones that we're gonna see in the future, like the Icon Foundation that I keep on talking about. They are going to need these sorts of fuel, and it's going, we are going to be, as, as investors in ecosystems, we are going to be beneficial, the benefactors of these currency systems. So, let's get stuck into it. So th that's, we talked about the price, it's low at the moment, doesn't mean our morale has to be low with it. Next thing I want to talk to you about, guys, is something really interesting. Um, many of you know I'm a huge fan of Neo X, which is the cross-chain interoperability that's coming out in 2018. Well, I found this website, and many of you may have known of the post, which was about Neo Joy, but you may not have clicked in to the website that went through everything because initially it was all in Chinese. And uh, guys, I don't speak Chinese at all, but I went through that process of listening to Malcolm Lar um, Larimer introduce it everything and then after that he went into English um, at this point at 1603 he goes into a lot of detail about Neo X which was really the gold of for me personally um, of this um, presentation and you can see in the graphic it was great because it shows you specifically that Neo is the center it's the nexus or the core of the the Neo X plan so the next thing is drawn out from that is DNA now if you're not sure what DNA is DNA is simply the protocol that underpins on-chain, which is a private enterprise um, blockchain that uh, is not an affiliate or an entity linked to NEO in any way. They are separate entities, but as you can see, that's only until NEO X is put in, into the picture. So the idea is that what, what that picture represents there is actually not so much NEO, it's NEO X, because it's going to be that um, modality that allows for uh, uh, transactions between on-chain and NEO and DNA is sort of that interim uh, protocol that uh, it will that will feed into the NEO X protocol and then from that in out into the public space and public domain that coupled with some interesting comments I heard from one of the workers inside NEO recently was that his comments were that NEO acts more like a community than it does a company well that may be true, but in, in essence, it still functions also like a company despite its community underpinnings and the way in which it's growing uh, from the grassroots out. And that's important too, because it's, 
you know, when we have a token that's a computer, uh, sorry, when we have a governance token that is NEO, uh, that's orchestrating and managing and supporting this ecosystem, that still has business structures in place. So with NEOX, as you can see in point four, the cross-chain protocol, it is so fundamental, guys, to the value of NEO, and we're only seeing the beginnings of that, and it's great to see that Malcolm is presenting on that at the moment. So next thing I want to present to you guys was um, really just some tech information coming up. Um, I wanted to introduce you to, if you haven't seen it already, many of you guys would have seen it before me, but this is just an extract from NEO uh, Tracker. And what I really liked about it was that it goes through and you can see information on wallets, you can see information on blocks. So I'll just click through and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, so you can see things like blocks, for example. And you can tell you all of the information of uh, when um, blocks were accessed and um, how many transactions are on them. And you can go through and you can look at things like addresses and that tells you how much, how the purchases of, of NEO and gas. Um, assets, it shows you, um, you know, key information related to that. So I really liked this design and clearly the person who designed it was well rewarded and they should have been because it just further cements the value of all the different devs out there who are outside of China working really hard on the EO project. So guys, my cup isn't fake, it really does have coffee, I just talk so much and I'm going to have a, co a drink just to say thanks. To all the devs out there, I truly mean it that you make NEO such a, a robust um, and, a, a ecosystem. And without all the devs out there, particularly in the city of Zion, then uh, we, we just wouldn't have the same kind of NEO. Okay, so just moving on from that as well, uh, let's have a look at this. Speaking of city of Zion, we had an excellent representative here, um, Fabio Kennison, and I'm guessing he's Italian. He certainly has an accent, but if you're not, I'm sorry, Fabio. Thank you, mate, for your presentation. Um, but what I really liked is that he went into a lot of detail to explain how the city of Zion works. And so I'll just try and give you a quick rundown on what he presented. Basically, guys, the city of Zion is like the um, foreign entity that is now um, developing to support NEO. It, it was it initially arose because there was a lot of um, developer interest in NEO. It was considered to be the cool project, but underpinning the cool was actually something more important, and that was the quality of its code. So the city of Zion decided to, um, you know, try and support it through its code um, research and, and through its code work. And as a result, it's, it's grown to become the city of Zion entity um, that is co-supported by NEO, it's also funded by NEO, and just recently I read in a post there's been substantial funding to guarantee its um, its continu continu continuation into um, subsequent years. So Z City of Zion is respected by NEO, it's supported financially by NEO, and more importantly, the kind of work they're doing is really valuable because they're doing things like they've done the NEO wa neon wallets. They've just they're provided with uh, provided NEO with so many different technological advancements that it's a it's a mutually beneficial thing and it only makes NEO stronger. So thanks to the city of Zion. Uh, the next thing is I just thought I'd show you a couple of articles. This one came from a Chinese website and I really liked this article because <clears throat> it was all about the uh, the Chinese open source conference and NEO is participating in this conference as a key speaker. Um, and this is happening on the no November the 18th um, and uh, Malcolm Larimer also mentioned it, but I had a little bit of a look to find out exactly who is presenting. And if you scroll, if you scroll down, if you go go to this website, um, and I'll provide all of the links for you guys. Um, you won't see it so much in this post, but if you go down, I'm pretty sure it was on day four. Uh, but I'll, yeah, I won't waste your time. But it, essentially, it's in there somewhere, and you'll see Neo listed at the end of one of the presentations. It just reaffirms that when you see a Chinese uh, conference like this and you see NEO included in that, that's not commonplace so much now post ban of ICOs um, and it's only looking better and better for NEO within um, the Sino crypto space. So that's cool. Uh, the next thing I want to show you was an article uh, about NEO gas and this explains why NEO gas is rising. Uh, so guys, below here you can see that basically the crux of this it says that according to the release curve, in the first year there will be 16% of natural gas and then it will change and it will increase to 52% and then 80% and that will move, um, it basically says that of, of the gas that will be created, created in, in within 12 years. So what's really exciting is that basically this article explains how the value of gas is going to increase and if you are familiar with the maximum supply, it's very good. Um, and <clears throat> essentially it's designed to couple in value with NEO but not at the same value but typically at a, at a half 
valued rate. Uh, but even if it, it doesn't, the importance to remember is that it, the design of, a, of NEO is such that gas is also designed to increase as the ecosystem, <clears throat> as the ecosystem builds out. So the next one I wanted to show you was um, an article posted recently, and this was all about uh, NEO's centralized node system um, and how it will be changed in 2018. I really like this because there's a bit of misunderstanding exactly about how the node structure works because there are so few nodes running. Um, but this, what this does, it ex explains the changes they'll be making to basically make it more robust. So what it says here is that there will also be an option for people to set up a master nodes and they will need to lock up a specific amount of NEO in order to do so. So that will be a substantial amount of NEO for that to happen, there, no doubt. But the great thing is that there will be these exciting changes for nodes themselves in NEO. So check that article out, guys, if you want to know more. Uh, the other thing I want to show you was about CoinNest. Now, many of you would know this already. It was published on, 2000, uh, tw on the 25th of October. But basically, guys, this was an exchange, uh, much like Qcoin, showing its support for, for NEO. Um, there are, are pairs for gas um, as well. So it was great to see that, and that there are um, growing numbers of exchanges taking NEO very seriously. And not only are they including in their exchange, but they're becoming a key uh, um, currency within the exchange for use and for uh, allowing uh, purchases of other dApps within the, um, the NEO platform. So that's really exciting and that's only going to strengthen the value of NEO over time. The next thing I want to talk to you about, and I haven't mentioned this surprisingly on any of my talks about NEO yet, but this post was by Ethereum World News and the title was NEO rebrands its web. And the question was, can NEO slash USD keep the increasing pace? Now, you know, whether the rhetoric is there or not, the answer is yes, we know it will because of the design that NEO is. Um, it's already garnering a huge n number of uh, business, in a huge amount of business interest. It's got, you know, significant things going for it already. Uh, but what is exciting is that typically when a website is redesigned, if it's done well, um, it only benefits the, the, the business itself. And in this case, I did try to be as proactive as I could before I talked about the website using people's comments in, in various places like Twitter and Reddit. But generally the consensus is mm, one of ambivalence moving across to a, a positive response. Um, very few actually had a really negative response about the website. Some don't like its color, I understand. Uh, but in terms of the quality of the information and ease of access, you know, thumbs up to the NEO team. They've done a really, really good job of that. Um, and it makes it really easy for someone who's a novice to understand what NEO is. Um, the other thing I want to talk about was the, the dev uh, information access, in that if you are not knowledgeable in all the developers that uh, work on NEO and how, it all, how it's all structured, the new layout of the, of the and website design for NEO is really good. It makes it really simple. You can see here um, there's a developer section and you can just scroll down and choose your part and, and go through. It also has some great links at the bottom which I really like with their different social media groups and they're only expanding. So if you see that many social media groups, you know, that does indicate uh, you know, substantial interest and growth. The next one is um, the, annu the sorry the monthly um, report. Now Malcolm has very um, very succinctly written a review of October, and so many things have happened, guys. In, and Neo has been absolutely flat out with different uh, projects and different uh, uh, travels and making contacts. Even obviously, you guys know about Seoul. So I'll give you a rundown on a couple of things that have happened. We've had the City of Zion, community members and developers. We've had Neo Tracker. It's received, received a one-time reward, um, which we talked about earlier. Um, the the Antcha.in has received a one-time reward. The Ant Chain, oh, you know. So some really great, uh, and, and I won't read them all, but these are really great projects that um, essentially, they build out the quality of the Neo framework. They build out the quality of the NEO technology and every time they do something like that, not only is it great they get rewarded for those things, but it just makes um, uh, makes for everyone who's invested in NEO uh, much more uh, satisfied with their investment because they are seeing the growth. They're seeing how NEO is building upon itself to become a, a very serious player in uh, blockchain ecosystems which are few and far between. Not everything is, is an ecosystem. And in fact, the majority are not. 
um, and Neo prides itself on being one of the few that um, is is essentially representing an economy. It's being it's, it's being designed as an economy for the real world because it has real world projects on it and will only try and accept or endeavour to accept ones where they can see a real world significance and purpose. So guys, just overall, if you want to know more about Malcolm's report, it was really good. It tells you, you know, essentially what's where your money's been spent in terms of, you know, what's been happening and where it's all going. So I always treat this like a share, much like as if, you know, I'm listening to Warren Buffett tell us about, you know, in his in annual talk, how the company's going. I, I really do have that much respect for Neo that that's how I regard it. Uh, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about was, this was interesting, this was only recent today actually, this was the kind of graph that is showing Korean interest in NEO, so the red line just represents growing interest from the uh, Korean community as they start to invest again significantly into uh, the crypto space, into cryptocurrencies. Then. I just want to quickly show you this. This is showing you that Qcoin, which has now already happened, um, they'll be adding NEO markets, including the Red Pulse to NEO pair and the Gas to NEO pair. Um, and just also on that note, obviously Qcoin, it's a bit of a buzzword at the moment with its own value, but it's just great to see that that more um, the more exchanges are also um, uh, 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 like integrating NEO into their platforms. And the next thing I want to show you, I haven't talked about this so I thought I'd broach it, but it's so great to see that the Ledger Nano has integrated the um, the NEO token into its wallet so that people can now store, um, move their NEOs off uh, online on hot storage to the cold storage facilities like the Nano S Ledger. So that was really cool because uh, it just means we've got peace of mind with our investments. Um, the other thing to mention is just some access to different pieces of information like, for example, um, we have Slack. So Slack's great um, because it just adds more information in from different sources like you can see there, Malcolm's on there and that's great to see. Next we have the Next platform information. That is brilliant because as you guys know, it's the decentralized platform of the future and there's a white paper being released. So that's really great. Uh, Reddit, one of my absolute favorite sources of information and news. Uh, once again, guys, I encourage you all if you haven't been on here to just check it out and it gives you that chance to save your time as well because not everyone has time to go and research themselves so check out that for more information on cutting edge um, news and updates. And then finally I wanted to just quickly broach a couple of bits of news that aren't related to NEO. So the first thing is I found this and this was about blockchains and essentially this was saying that sharding is the way to go um, for uh, scalability. Meaning that, as you guys know, Ethereum is looking at sharding now. It's got a design in place to cope with that. I briefly mentioned a video earlier today on one called Red Belly Blockchain, which is certainly um, designed in such a way where it's targeting scalability like very few blockchains can even do yet. Um, but then we also have uh, NEO and we have Icon Foundations protocols where all of them, through their Byzantine uh, algorithms, <coughs> they are trying to address this issue in a really um, innovative way because they are basically designing from the ground up they're using protocols that are unforkable and when they're unforkable that horizontally they can also establish uh, security uh, and um, essentially programming that allows for them to set forth you know their u utility by being highly scalable in the future so that's really great um, the next thing I wanted to mention was, if I haven't already before, this was just an article from HAT um, and it's all about um, the analysis of ICON or ICX. Now, I've talked about ICX on a podcast but I haven't actually done a video where I'm talking and you can see me, but I just want to really um, restate that ICON Foundation is in every way something to take seriously for Korea. It is, in my opinion, the equivalent, it's not the same, but it is the equivalent of NEO in China for Korea. And icon so guys really look into it it's um I, I, as a pre-sale purchaser and I never buy pre-sales um, it's coming up soon for public release and I'm not saying to you um, you know to go out and buy that's not from my not financial advice but I'm just disclosing that I have this is the only pre-sale I've actually invested in and I it's because I'm I'm really bullish on ecosystems because I can see the logic behind them if they are good so guys this is the website for icon it just gives you if you want to find out more um, Again, if you have a look at their sponsors and their uh, their advisors, it's it's really impressive. Their team is impressive. 
So that's it guys, um, I just wanted to add those in as a little bit of an additional thing. I was also looking at um, Syscoin, um, just because you know there's a bit of hype and suggestion that it might be part of the Palm Beach uh, Confidential new coin, but I tend to not worry too much about all the hype and the, the um, basically the, the pump and dump style. Of, I, I'm not into that, I'm more, more into hodling. So yeah, check out Syscoin if, if that kind of thing interests you, because there's a lot of suggestions it might be that or Ripple. Other than that guys, I'm just so grateful to be part of this space and I hope you've had an amazing day today and I'll talk to you very soon. It's Blockchain Brad signing off. Cheers.